Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Now look, first things first, a big congratulations to Hallie and DDG as it has now been confirmed that yes, Hallie is pregnant. If you know, you know this rumor has been going around for the longest time, but we didn't have any confirmation until now. Looks like paparazzi caught DDG and Hallie out and we can obviously see her pregnant belly. Now look, before people be in the comment section talking about y'all revealed her pregnancy for her, um, she didn't even come to social media with it yet. Y'all have to understand, this is not the blog's fault. This is, if you really want to get technical, this may be paparazzi's fault. Paparazzi has to follow these celebrities somewhere, take these pictures, and usually they sell them to the blog. So who's really being messy here? But anyways, a big congratulations to Hallie and DDG. Let's go ahead and move on to Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose is single now. Just a week ago, Ruby Rose had broke the internet, revealing that she was in a relationship. I mean, she had a lot of guys in their feelings. She was even trending on Twitter. Twitter. Well, recently she posted today onto her Twitter and she said she's single, bad, and rich. So it looks like things went sour between her and her designer, Bay. And these two are no longer together. So I guess the guys wanted a chance, but Ruby Rose may have their chance back, okay? But I'm gonna say you still don't have a chance. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move into our next topic, which is going to be Young Miami, Chusi, which is Moneybag Yo's baby mother, and Ari. Now we definitely talked about this in our previous video, how Juicy Lucy decided to respond to the fact that Carisha decided to bring her up in the episode of Carisha Please. Yes, Young Miami asks Ari did Moneybag Yo and Juicy still have something going on because that's what Juicy makes it seem like on social media. Ari confirmed no, that Moneybag Yo doesn't have anything going on with his baby mother Juicy. That's when Carisha decides to take it a step further, asking Ari was the rumors true about Moneybag Yo once upon a time pimping his baby mother juicy out and Ari says she didn't know about that information but well, we thought that the beef was over since then okay we knew that juicy had responded and she said those rumors weren't true but it looks like Ari still feels some type of way that juicy was making like she still has something going on with her baby daddy money bag yo Ari decided to shade juicy on her twitter today this is what she posted she said to lie and try to manipulate people to believe that you still with somebody who don't f with with you at all is a mental illness she also posted and she said the internet antics have to stop i'll be getting secondhand embarrassment watching bees be delusional and pretend okay now juicy decides to respond back to ari on her insta story insinuating that ari is watching her from a fake page she said it must be watching from fake pages she also said a hey, stop playing with me before i give it to your ass only mf on this ish with a mental illness is yo slow ass then she also said this mf is really slow like stop watching me the f because i don't even think about your dumb ass ari then decides to respond and she said what is the bees really having besides a hard time like for real now like i said these two are both subbing each other both coming at each other on social media but they're just not adding each other this situation between juicy and ari is getting really serious they're really coming at each other hard now i do want to mind you the juicy be calling everybody slow right she be saying slow slow all the time but she's definitely definitely coming for ari hard it seems like this beef is going to continue between these two but i think at this point money bag yo just needs to get in the middle and be like look juicy if you're acting like we're still together to social media, please stop. You're just my baby mother. We just have a co-parenting relationship. So Ari and her can stop going back and forth. But this time, Ari did come for her first, okay? You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Now, I want to go ahead and move on to this Karina and Flo situation that now has led to other people being in this situation. For example, K-Hood, a.k.a. Roll It Up k she recently got into it with Karina. Now, I want to go ahead and get into or just start this off to where Flo responded. If you don't know what happened up into this situation, definitely check out my previous video or it's all over social media. It's all over YouTube. Really, you could check out any video. I'm not pressed for y'all to check out mine. Now, yes, Flo finally decided to speak out and go live about this situation and tell his side of the situation. As we always know, it's always three sides. It's always his side, her side, and then there's the truth somewhere in between. Now, let's go ahead and summarize what Flo had to say on this live. 
One, he apologized. Two, he said that Karina always hits him first and that these two had been fighting for the longest time, which we all didn't know. He also said that Karina only went to social media this time with the situation because she has the wrong people in her ear, which we already assumed that he's talking about Crystal. Then he decided to say that he didn't like the way that Jazz and the rest of the crew came to social media and no one hit him up first. He also said that he had been falling back from the whole crew and he was already going to move out the house which he has already did now crystal decides to respond to flow on her twitter and she said i didn't force anybody to do anything had you been empathetic to the ish you wouldn't be outed on the media take that up with god and then she also said karina didn't deserve that after all she's been through you do something like that to her you were supposed to help her grow into a woman you ain't do ish but belittle her your turn is up lie again on my name p-o-n-k-a and Karina decides to post to her Insta story and she said, y'all please learn from me, never F with a clown. That's when Roll It Up K and Karina gets into it. Now, we've seen that K Hood, aka Roll It Up K, have been writing a lot about Karina on her Twitter. Now, she has deleted all of this from her Twitter, so it's not like I can revamp the tweets and pull them up. But she was basically saying that Karina was trying to put her in that situation. She didn't want to be a part of that situation. She was calling Karina crazy and delusional basically saying that Karina thought the K hood was hiding um Flo in her house roll it up K already said that she messed with Flo she was trying to sign Flo to her music label she was trying to have Flo a part of her team she said after the situation she didn't want to sign Flo anymore and she said Flo needed to clear up the whole thing which seems like the reason why Flo decided to go live anyways. He said that he didn't do the social media stuff, so it looks like he wasn't even going to go live and talk about the situation until Kay told him that he needed to do it. Now, I did catch one of Karina's tweets because she did post this onto her Insta story. And she said, I ain't see all of them tweets last night by Pineapple Head. I'm not arguing with nobody who is too U-G-L-Y. They ain't have no choice but to be a blank with them blank blank french tips i'm taking a break from the media now see y'all after i heal okay then she decided to post the fact that k did hit her up first now k then posts onto her insta story and she said i'm highly annoyed later on all we seen was this video going viral all over twitter of k karina and this looks like k's assistant i don't want to assume but it looks like her assistant all getting into it and it honestly looks like they decided to jump karina which was super sad super heartbreaking karina decided to go live after the fight so did roll it up k decided to go live after the fight and explain the situation k was basically saying that they did not jump karina she said that she did get her hits in with karina but she did not jump her. karina was the one who decided to fight her assistant and obviously it looked like the assistant was winning yes we did see two videos we seen one video of roll it up k trying to record the situation then we seen a video of roll it up k fighting karina along with her assistant and i just felt like it was completely messed up i mean people could say whatever they want to say but i just felt like it was a hundred percent lame for her to jump in while karina was already getting fought by her assistant she wanted to get her ones in with karina she could have told her after she got her ones in with the assistant i still think it's super lame for them to even fight her while this girl is still killing from a dv situation that she just went through like i understand that karina was saying a lot about her i get it i understand but there's a time and a place for everything k definitely could have waited if she really wanted to get it in because karina was getting disrespectful at least wait for the girl to heal a little later on but you're saying that you feel bad for her you were trying to help her out and I understand like I said when you get disrespectful when you be talking at the mouth you're opening up for anybody to come at you any type of way or for anything to happen and Karina never should have been coming at her the way that she was coming at her right Karina was assuming a lot of things about Kay and Flo's relationship that she should have never just been assuming if you don't have the facts you shouldn't be assuming and getting mad at her about the situation but still I just don't agree with the fact of them 
really brutally hurting that girl even more than she had already been hurt it just didn't make sense Chaz Jordan and the rest of the crew decided to sit down and make a video explaining their side of the situation letting it be known that you know Flo is the one who kind of like changed and switched up on them he decided to move out the house while they were on vacation just out of nowhere they also let it be known that Karina and Flo it is true they were always getting into fights with each other they would have to get into the middle of it and break it up but they also let us know how flaw Flo had been being towards them how he lies and manipulates and things like that so I think it was just better off for Flo to kind of move out of the house and to get himself together one thing that I will say about Flo that I literally have been noticing for the longest time I think when he got into it with Kiana J it, he got into it with somebody right and somebody came for him and they were like he don't even take showers enough he don't even take a shower every day something along that line also Karina mentioned that if you guys know you know Karina mentioned it she was like let's talk about how you haven't took a shower today okay it was like when these two were actually together they were playing around with each other and the fact that they said in this video that Flo drinks a lot I think that Flo definitely has to heal and get himself together I don't think that Flo honestly a hundred percent loves himself the way that he needs to love himself and I say this because when a person is drinking every day usually they're drinking to escape some type of problem that they have within or some type of thoughts that they are continuously having that they don't like second of all one of the first signs that somebody is severely depressed or just depressed in general they stop taking care of themselves so the fact that people were noticing that Flo wasn't showering every day was a real big red flag and sign that he is depressed deep down inside and most likely he was just trying to hide it on social media with making the content and doing what he was doing but I kind of had noticed that a while ago and I was just like mm, let me not say nothing but once I seen that video of Karina saying the same thing that he skips showers or he doesn't take a shower every day like I said, one of the first signs to depression is somebody's not taking care of themselves, not taking care of their body. So he definitely has some things that he needs to heal from. I definitely think that Karina has stuff that she needs to heal from as well. So I honestly feel like this is a lesson to be learned for everybody in this situation. Obviously, I want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions about this. Leave it in the comment section. Once again, thank you for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. And like I always say, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your night.